And for so many, news of that approval and the eventual end of the pandemic cannot come soon enough. All new tonight, we have the story of a woman from New Haven. For her, the financial and emotional struggles continue. Here's Carly Van Cleef. Imagine being pregnant out of a job and praying for another stimulus check. And that's where the list of concerns begins. I sat down with Erin Youngblood from New Haven tonight to talk. She says she's not asking for anything. She just wanted to be heard because she knows a lot of people watching tonight can relate to her and her story. I am scared all the time. Erin Youngblood is 35 and about to have her first child, but in the middle of a global pandemic. It's a really hard time of year to begin with, and then you add a pandemic, plus a pregnancy, plus being unemployed. It, it all sort of adds and it compounds. Youngblood and her fiance are both hairstylists, but because of the pandemic, she lost her job. We have done everything we can to prevent this from happening, but I am currently out of work. She says it's been difficult to find permanent income for herself or even somewhere she feels safe working. Really, I've I've been trying to find a job that works from home, that works for me since I'm, I'm pregnant at the moment. She says she's been back and forth between unemployment benefits, and now she says they denied her for at least another eight weeks. I applied for food stamps. Uh, I've given them every document that I possibly could and they said it wasn't enough. She says she's not feeling sorry for herself, but for her family and so many others, it should be easier to get help at a time like this. It's, it's really unfair that we're getting left sort of in the dust, and I just want our government to work faster. Um, a stimulus deal needs to happen now. Another stimulus bill or some kind of financial support so she can raise her baby. The pandemic has shown the cracks in our economy. It has shown the haves and the have nots big time and who has been impacted by this the most. And it's been middle to lower class people, just like myself and my fiance. She says she knows there are so many other families also struggling and she wants them to be hopeful just want people to know that you're not alone really like there's we're we are struggling we collectively are all sort of struggling right now in some form and that you know my story is not the only one out there Youngblood tells me her baby is due sometime in April, and she's hoping by then her family and others can get some sort of help to get them through this pandemic. 